50. Let's see, that's nine. Oh, and 29, and a box, and you're off the blitz. Well, call it luck, call it instinct, call it good card sense. Call it cheating. You still lose. <laughs> another round, another dollar. OK, OK. Somebody swipe my aftershave. Uh-oh. Uh, was it in a little blue bottle with a picture of a bug on it? Bug? What bug? <laughs> what bug? It was a man on an alligator. It was an expensive cologne. Oh, uh, yeah. What do you need aftershave lotion for anyway? I thought I'd go and see if I could dig up a day. Uh, a day? You're crazy. Yeah. Knock it off. Uh, yeah. Dig up. That's the only way you're going to get a date around here. There hasn't been a new female on this post in six months. something in the way the guys were acting out there? Well, I did sense a certain tension, a hint of edginess, a kind of restlessness, I guess. Do I hear lust? Lust? <laughs> you mean lust? You know, when it's Saturday night and all the guys have to do is swipe each other's aftershave lotion, the answer is lust. Yeah, but uh, I forgot the question. The question is, when do we turn this lust into capital gain? Well, I admit there aren't a lot of women soldiers on the post, and there aren't even single girls in town. You know, the women on this base are suffering from the same loneliness, the same urges. What are you trying to say, Val? PFC Baker, you and I are going into the computer dating business. <laughs> I'll pretend to be reading the Pentagon citation. You know, the unstudied casual look. Come on, Hawk, get into the picture. Oh, uh, may I give you in too, sir? Corporal. <laughs> sir, I believe that that commendation really is for you. Nonsense to the officers and men of Camp Tar Creek and the Phase 9 computer. With respect, sir, I'd like to decline. I'll get my commendation for security. May I show you my suggested new system now, sir? Hold that pose, Major. Freeze! Major! Major, you've ruined my film! And you have threatened the security of this installation, Corporal. Do you realize what would happen if that photo got into the wrong hands? Gee, I was only going to send it to Mom. <laughs> Sir, does your mother have a security clearance? <laughs> you want to go in the computer dating business with our computer? Will you keep your voice down? They'll hear you in Washington. Even they wouldn't believe it. I don't think my partner presented the proposition in its proper context. Oh, pray tell, what is that? So what we're trying to do is uh, fill the many hours of solitude of the many brave young men and women who are violently serving their country far, far from home. You know who's going to be far, far from home? Me. I'm in charge of the computer room, and if Hawkins catches me using top secret military equipment for computer dating, he'll put me away for the rest of my life. Lola, you got to stop thinking to yourself. These lonely guys need help. You get a little steam from cold showers. Two scoops. <laughs> Two fisted moles. Hi, Lola. Sandy, what are you doing on KP? I volunteered. Why? Well, it's Saturday. Hey. Looking into the eyes of a potato is a lot better than looking into no eyes at all. Make <laughs> <laughs> that black. Thank you for your cooperation. A computer. We have lonely girls. We have lonely guys. Can't they just get together? Together is the problem. They work together. They live on the same base together. They're sick of each other. Look at them. I don't know. I still don't like it. But it's for America. What army can win a war when its troops' morale is down the tubes? Okay. I'll make a deal with you. You get everyone to sign up. And I mean everyone. Men and women. And then I'll go along with you. It's a deal. Come on, we gotta get busy. We got a lot to do. First, we'll find everyone we can and we'll sign them up. Then we'll get an M60 tank to haul our money to the bank. Throw it out your helmet liner. Wait a minute, you got an helmet, you get the point. We get the point. You want our money. Oh, money? Guys, this is a barracks bargain. Now, now hold it. For ten bucks, we'll get you a date, we'll get a three-day pass for the lady soldier, a free bus ride, and we'll throw in a corsage. That's right, this is a great opportunity to go with a nice girl, a girl who shares the same likes and dislikes as you, a girl who shares the same hobbies. And the same urges, the same passions. I'm 
box? It's not so bad, really. Hold it, guys. Hold it. Let's not fall for their trap. Trap? Trap? This is no trap. Computer dating works. It's been proven scientifically. And it takes the guesswork out of romance. It's a sure thing. It never misses. Never misses? We'll see if it never misses. Give it the big test. Get a date for Maxwell. Oh, yeah. Now, that's a good idea. <laughs> Get a date for Maxwell. Then we'll talk. <laughs> Got a minute? Huh? Go. Uh, yeah? How would you like to meet the girl of your dreams? Oh. Women don't like me much. And I dream mostly about baked goods. <laughs> well, look at it this way. We could always get him a date with a French tart. <laughs> How about a nice nurse with some... Hot cross buns. <laughs> Maxwell a date in the computer? Yes. Uh, you mean you actually found a real girl for Maxwell? In this country? Yes. Now look, we don't live beyond 3,500 miles. I tell you, I got him a girl stationed at Camp McGee. Her name's Nancy Jane Brown. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, but does Nancy Jane Brown go for Maxwell's type? Well, I didn't put in Maxwell's true personality. I sort of fudged a little. How much fudge did you actually put in? The info date I gave puts Maxwell somewhere between Woody Allen and Robert Redford. <laughs> We can handle that. We can handle it. Well, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Woody Allen and Robert Redford. <laughs> oh, well, look. Maxwell's just a diamond in the rough. Don't underestimate him. All the man needs is a little polishing. We're gonna have to do two months of blasting just to make him Dom de la Weed. Oh, we have to do it. Our financial future depends upon it. <laughs> Weasel. So, uh, Val, uh, did I tell you about Major Hawkins? Oh, no! Well, I was shocked. I mean, you'd never believe it looking at the man. Well, yeah, what'd you hear? Well, don't spread it around. My lips are sealed. Well, before he was a major in the Army, he was a lieutenant in the wax. <laughs> With a girl? That's right. We make a promise. We keep it. This won't work. She won't like me. Oh, why not? You're cute. You're intelligent. You're witty. Yeah? Cute's enough. <laughs> the first thing we gotta do is teach Maxwell how to be suave. Suave. <laughs> That's right. Imagine, if you will, Nancy Jane gets off the bus. You suavely amble over. Hold it. What's the matter? I don't know how to amble. <laughs> well, you're very fortunate, because you're around one of the world's best amblers, Victoria. Tell him to teach the man how to amble. Certainly. <laughs> See there, just think hips. All you gotta do is think John Wayne. Now, you've ambled up to her, now you introduce yourself. You say, hello, I'm Arnold Maxwell. My friends call me Rex. Rex. You can't have a romantic evening with a girl calling you Arnold. That's right. You call yourself Rex, you'll feel like a Rex. Now, you've introduced yourself, now you tell her what you've planned for the evening. We'll go down to Tar Creek and have a candlelight dinner at Ida's truck stop. Um, team. Um, team? Intimate, just the two of you. Oh, boy. A nice chicken fried steak, an impudent little wine, and then some slow dancing at the Rusty Spur to the rippling rhythms of Tubby Walpole and his buckskin banjo. Can't dance. I've got two left feet. No problem. Tubby's got two left hands. You'll probably win the six pack. That's right. We've got to teach Maxwell how to dance. No problem. I'll teach him. Did I hear you say you'll teach him? Yeah. May I remind you, running through the veins of these feet is the blood of Bill Bojangles Robinson, Sammy Davis Jr., and all four of the stepbrothers. I bow to you, Mr. Rhythm. Follow my lead, Mr. Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Soiree. <laughs>
you, sir. What are those men doing? Looks to me like they're slow dancing. Cheek to cheek. Well, at least Sergeant Valentine is leading. <laughs> Rather well, too. You know, the officer's ball is coming up, and my dancing slippers are a little rusty. Do you think maybe Sergeant Valentine could help me get back in the groove? Dancing with an enlisted man is against the regulations. Sir. Oh, well, that's true. By the way, Major, how's your dancing? <laughs> Corporal Wessel says there's something suspicious going on between Sergeant Valentine and Private Baker, sir. Well, then why is he dancing with Private Maxwell? <laughs> they quite put my finger on it, sir. But they had a secret meeting with Corporal Gray, and then they met with Maxwell. Something to do with an unauthorized use of the computer, sir. You don't mean it. Now, these men are not only guilty of a serious security breach, sir. They are deliberately spreading malicious gossip about one of your key officers. Who? Me. Really? Gossip? I love gossip. What is it? If I may, sir. <laughs> they are saying that Major Hawkins was a lieutenant in the wax. Well, were you? <laughs> These men have to be punished, sir. And as chief of base security, I have ordered Corporal Wessel to follow the suspects and try to get further evidence. Good thinking, Hawk. Corporal Wessel, follow the suspects and try to get further evidence. All right, sir. I won't suspect a thing. Wessel. Sir. Wear a disguise that you won't stab yourself in the foot with. <laughs> yes, sir. Guys, I don't think this computer day thing is going to work. Come on, now, don't talk like that. There's no reason to be nervous. You'll be fine. It's easy for you to say. I told you I'd tie up around girls. That's why we're here. We're here to rehearse with the lovely Lola. Yeah, now, you see, Lola is going to be Nancy Jane Brown. Yeah, so just relax. Be cool. Yeah, it's easy for you to say. No, no, no. Listen, we are Lola. <laughs> now, you see her. She sees you. After she jumps out of the bus, you run to her in slow motion, just like the shampoo commercial. All right, come on. Are you ready? <laughs> Go get her. But I know her. Remember what we taught you? Be swaying. Oh, right. Why don't we sit in a jeep? Yeah, okay, I'll try sitting down sway. Wow. <laughs> now, Maxwell, just pretend I'm your date. Be yourself. Be natural. Hi there. Hi yourself. <laughs> my name's Arnold Maxwell, but my friends call me Rex. Rex? Whose idea was that? Lola, you're not helping. We got a lot at stake here. <laughs> Who oh, say she's laughing at me? Well, I'm not laughing at you, Maxwell. I just think you should be what you are. A dear, sweet, sensitive guy. When's the last time you dated one of those? <laughs> Try it again, Rick. Well, maybe we could drop by Ida's and have a impudent chicken fried steak. Impudent. <laughs> Hold it. We're being watched. <laughs> Smile. You're on candid camera. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> so, 
Besides, we get all our money back if Maxwell's day turns out to be a chihuahua. Who <laughs> knows? Tension! Do these old eyes deceive me, or are you men actually running a computer dating service? Well, sir, I think I can explain this. You men know that the regulations strictly prohibit the use of the computer for non-military purposes. I am crestfallen. Uh, but, sir, this is a military purpose. You know the most important thing for a soldier is morale. And the best thing for morale? Toujours l'amour. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. They told me I could find Colonel Clapp in here. I'm Colonel Clapp. Are you reporting in? No, I'm Carol Watson. Your computer date. <laughs> date? With your permission, Colonel... You know, the morale of the men is merely important, but the morale of a commander is top priority. Well, I, I suppose that's true, Baker. Uh, so we took the liberty of running your name through the computer. I must say it works. It's not easy finding an attractive man who enjoys slow dancing and higher mathematics. Well, I suppose I do tend to underestimate the value of morale. Uh, I know we'd all be better fighting men if we met some interesting fighting women. Oh, you won't get a fight out of me, Colonel. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, sir. I'm placing all these men under arrest. Uh, I think we should have a few words in private, Hawk. Unnecessary, sir. This one picture says it all. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. You, you know, it's miraculous. I could have bought stock in this company when it was $3 a share. <laughs> what about the charges against these men? Oh, the charges, yes. Oh, that's a very good point, Hawk. There's no question that by the book, we've got these men dead to rights. Right, sir. But then there's that lovely woman over there to consider. Sir? Well, there may be a dolly in the data bank for you, Hawk. Colonel. I think that the prudent thing to do is to have a full and careful investigation starting first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, meanwhile, I'm dropping all charges in the interest of morale. Whatever you say, sir. Shall we? Are we? a bicycle. Once you do it, you'll never forget. Val? What? I don't know how to ride a bicycle. <laughs> like we taught you, that John Wayne, and plenty of swab, plenty of swab. <laughs> now look, we're really counting on you to make a good impression. Go get him, tiger. <laughs> Too bad it was on the door. Are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, are you Nancy Jane Brown? Yes, are you Arnold Maxwell? Yeah, I'm Arnold Maxwell. But my friends all call me Rex. <laughs> well, do you want to go eat at uh, Ida's truck stop and eat an impudent chicken fried steak? <laughs> Maybe we could fall by the rusty spur for some tag team dancing. Or uh, on team dancing. Don't worry, I'll get it straight. Driver, hold the bus. Not going too well, is it? No, I don't think so. I knew the minute I laid eyes on you, you weren't my type. I'm not your type? No, I, I didn't want a flashy girl. I wanted someone who was warm and sweet and intelligent. Somewhat like me, suave but sensitive. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's nobody's fault. You can't put chemistry in a computer. No, you certainly can't. Well, nice to meet you. You too, Nancy Jane. Oh, I was wondering, would you do me a favor? 
favor? Yeah. Uh, sure. Let me see. All, all my buddies are watching us. Quite an audience. Yeah, I, I was wondering if you could help me out in front of them. What do you want me to do? Well, um, I know we're not going to date or anything, but could you kiss me goodbye? Sure. <laughs> Computer. Maybe I get a date with Diana Ross. Oh, it ought to be a cinch. You really think so? Yeah, just put everything in you know about Billy D. Williams. Uh, <laughs> exactly where I would have sent you. <laughs> Shall we go to dinner? I believe the Oak Club is doing Coco Van tonight. Oh, I just love doing Coco Van. <laughs> Private, Corporal, I'll be out for the rest of the evening. pool business and Jenny goes off the deep end and he introduces her to an Olympic contender on Happy Days. Then the future looks hysterical when Laverne has an encounter with a fortune-telling gypsy lady on Laverne and Shirley. Now stay tuned for the Renegades next, followed by the Gold Monkey.